Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my edge space. Hope you all are doing and learning well. In today's video, we are going to look at the modification of cell envelopes in prokaryotes. This is the third video in the series of structure of prokaryotic cell. So, let's get started. So, what is the modification in cell envelope of a prokaryotic cell? In previous video, we learned about the cell envelope. It is nothing but just the three layer outer covering which protects the cell from harsh surrounding. We also know that these are such minute unicellular organisms, but for their survival, they have to perform so many functions. And for performing such functions, cell envelope, especially cell membrane, modified itself and form such structures. So here, the plasma membrane modified and performed so many functions. It includes mesosomes, chromatophores, flagella, pili, and fimbri. Let's we understand these structures one by one. So first one is mesosomes. So first one is mesosomes. These are extensions of plasma membrane. So in this picture, you can see the green outer covering. This one is cell wall and inside this this is plasma membrane in yellow color which get extended inside the cytoplasm this which get extended inside the cytoplasm thereby increases the surface area of plasma membrane inside the cytoplasm they are present in three forms the vesicle like tubule like and lamella like The first one is vesicle type. In this structure, in this structure, the, uh, these are of vacuole type that store material and can fuse with other membranes to carry out a specific function. The vesicle type we can draw like this. Suppose this is the cell wall, okay, inside which we draw the plasma membrane and small vesicle type. If the mesosomes present in this form, it is called vesicle-like. Now the next one is tubule-like. In this, it is present in the form of tube. Tube. Okay. This is cell wall, and let me draw red in color. And if the plasma membrane extended inside the cytoplasm in the form of tube. It is called tubule like. And the last one is in the form of lamellae. This is cell wall and the plasma membrane. Let me draw first. This is plasma membrane and this is in the form of folding up in layers like this. This is structure which is somewhat like chloroplast. It's just the folding up of membrane and form stack which assembled one upon another. It further increases the surface area of plasma membrane. Functionally, Mesosomes help in DNA replication or doubling of DNA content during cell division. It increases the enzymatic content of cell. So it also acts as a lysosomes which are present in eukaryotic cell and known as suicidal beds. As mesosomes are somewhat like lysosomes which contain enzymes, therefore help in breakdown of macromolecules mesosomes help in secretion and in cell wall formation 
It helps in respiration as it increases the surface area of plasma membrane. Mesosomes are sites of respiratory activity because it contains respiratory enzymes. Many prokaryotic, especially bacteria, perform aerobic respiration as they use oxygen, but some prokaryotes cannot use oxygen, so they perform anaerobic respiration or respiration without oxygen. As cell organelles are absent in prokaryotes, most of the functions are performed by mesosomes. This unique and only structure performs so many functions like cell organelles do in eukaryotic cell. So we can say the mesosomes are the savior of prokaryotes in the absence of various cell organelles. Now next modification of plasma membrane is chromatophores. Chromatophores is consist of two words that is chroma and folds. Chroma means color, it means color. Okay, and folds mean bearer or bearing. So these are colors pigment bearing bodies. Photosynthetic bacteria like cyanobacteria, blue green algae contain chromatophores. These chromatophores contain pigments. Now look at the picture. The purple color that you can see over here, these purple color are chromatophores. So these are colored membrane associated vesicles. As I already told you that chromatophore contain photosynthetic pigment having electron carriers and enzymes for photosynthetic phosphorylation. Now what is phosphorylation? Let me explain you a little bit about phosphorylation. It is the process of adding phosphate group to an existing molecule to prepare it to do some work. So if you take an example like if you have a GTP molecule that is gynosine triphosphate through enzymatic activity one inorganic phosphate of GTP transfer to ATP transfer to ADP ADP means adenosine diphosphate in order to form this P get attached to ADP and it becomes A P P that is adenosine triphosphate hope you all understood what I am trying to say so phosphorylation it is a common mechanism of regulation of cell process by cell like regulation of proteins, cell cycle, cell growth, apoptosis which means self-killing or transmitting signals throughout the cell. Now chromatophores also have keratinoids. They also have keratinoids. So, in the case of eukaryotic cell, like in protista, the chloroplast, leukoplast, and chromatophore, chromatoplast are various types which similarly in function like that present in the chromatophores. Now, 
Now next modification is flagella. A bacterial cell can be motile or non-motile. If it is motile, then it has to blast with some long extensions. This thin long extensions that comes out from the body surface is known as flagella. Flagella consists of three parts, the filament, the hook and the basal body. You can see over here, this is the filament. This is the long extension of, of flagella part is called filament. Okay, this is the longest part of flagella outside from the body which propel and helps the cell to move. How it propels? It propels like this and help the bacterial cell to move forward or backward. The part that is embedded inside the plasma membrane is the basal body. And both filaments, this and both filament and the basal body are connected together with the help of hook. So these three parts constitute the flagella structure. Filament is the longest extension from the body surface or the longest part of flagella. Now, pili and fimbri. This is the last but not the least modification of cell envelope. So you can see, you can see over here the bacterial body is covered by the extensions beside this flagella. Some are hair like which are minute structures and some are hair like like this. These are hair like and some are bristles like which are shorter in size than that of the hair like structure. The hair like extension this these hair like extension are called pili. And these bristles like extensions throughout the body surface is called fimbri. Pili is composed of protein called as pilin. And fimbri are bristles like structure which is composed of protein fimbrillin. So, the composition of their proteins are different. The pili is made up of pilin and the fimbri is composed of fimbrillin protein. The, um, the fimbri are 200 to 400 in number. So these are present in, in many numbers whereas the pili is present in the range of 1 to 10, 1 to 10 per cell. Functionally, they help the bacteria to adhere to the body surface. They, this is the only, uh, this is the only function that the fimbri do. Whereas the pili help in the uh, sexual transduction or transmission of chromosomes from one bacterial cell to another. They don't play any role in locomotion which is only performed by, by the flagella structure. So in today's video we have learnt about the modification of cell envelope in a prokaryotic cell. These include mesosomes, chromatophores, flagella, pili and fimbri. Thanks for watching. For watching more, some more interesting videos, stay tuned. Bye bye.